I don't remember how long ago it was. I saw, it's just Steph. Um, I saw, well, Stephanie, um, her channel is just Steph. She did this video called, I don't remember the exact title, but I'll put it in the description. It was something along the lines of, I was looking at my notebook like it was there, but it's on my, on my computer. Um, 10 palettes I don't love, but I want to clutter. So I went through my palettes today. I should have been gone through this and had it planned, but I had a general idea of some of the ones I was going to use. So earlier today, I went through and I um, picked out some. I have 12. I don't have 10. Um, so let's just go through these. We're not going to ramble or at least try not to. So I do like well, ColourPop Blue Moon. I like it. I don't love it. Blue, blue eyeshadow just isn't for me. But I do like the Lumi shade. This, um, it's a light color shade. It's got like bluish, a like bluish tint to it. I do like that one, and then I like Billie Jean shade, so that middle shade. So these are the two. Well, this one right here. And then the middle. I really do like those. However, the other blues, they're really pretty. But I don't think they look good on my eyes. And then the darker shades, I just find darker shades to be messy. I remember using darker browns back in the day, but these days it's like I'm scared of dark shades because I feel like they're going to be super messy. So, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, so just keep in mind, I don't love these palettes, but I do like them, and that is why I want to clutter them. Another one from ColourPop is I Like You A Lot. I mean, it's pretty. I do like the first two rows, well, and that one, the first two rows and that one. These last two are just too dark for me. I, when it comes to purple, I like the pinkish purple shades, and that is why I like, you know, the first three. Um, and I like this one, and I like that one. Now, the middle one called Lust, it's a little too purple for me, but it's light enough to where I like it. But I really love these four right here. Um, the first row, oh, Lord, I gotta learn how to do this. I really like the first row. I like this shade. I love that shade too. And then this is a lighter purple that I like. If I had to put them in order, this middle one would be the last shade that I like. And the bottom, the last two are too dark. So again, purple palettes, well, purple eyeshadow, like blue eyeshadow. I don't personally think the really true purples and the darker purples or even the medium purples look good on my eyeballs because I have brown hair and brown eyes. But the Purple ones that lean a little bit pink, like pinky purple, I can get away with. The last two palettes from ColourPop, um, we have the Zodiac and then Dream Street. I remember getting these, and this is going to, you obviously, you probably know these uh, if you know ColourPop. Um, the Kathleen Lights, they're both um, the Kathleen Lights ColourPop collaboration. This is not my favorite color scheme. I mean, I do think that's pretty, even though it's a little too dark for me, but I love green shades. I used to hate green. I used to just, you know, but in the last couple of years, I found greens, certain shades of greens to be something that I really do like. I like them on my eyes. I do like that. The reason I don't get rid of this, even though I don't like the shade Aries because of the color, the Scorpio, too purple, Sagittarius, too purple. I don't need the black shimmery shade. Or the black. Well, it's a matte black with a little shimmer in it. But I like the brown shades. Now, here's the thing. I can declutter this and not miss any of these browns simply because I have 50 million browns in my eyeshadow collection. But I can't part with this one. Dream Street. Uh, I don't know why I like the Kaleidoscope because silver is just not a shade that I love. But I do like that one. I mean, it's the same thing. The brown shades. Like, Water Bear and Mermaid Boy and Spark. I don't really care for those shades. The green shades are too dark. 
I mean, I keep this palette because of the brown shades. Again, it's the same thing with the Zodiac palette. I've got 50 million brown eyeshadows. I really technically don't need this one, but I keep it because I like the brown shades. Magical, I can do without because that pulls more like a peachy type shade and I can do without. But, you know, the other brown shades I do like. Let's do e.l.f. Um, we've got Needed Nude and we've got Prism Eyeshadow. Now, I used to love this palette. And, you know, that one is messed up. I'm trying to hold it without that one breaking out. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I'll probably take pictures of all these and put them on screen. Oh, I dug my nail in that one. Oh, man. Anyway, again, it's a palette I used to love. I have other brown shades and other palettes that I love. I found I found other brands where they have brown shades I like better. Like, I remember e.l.f. was one of the few eyeshadow palettes. Well, e.l.f. was one of the brands that I knew. But as my eyeshadow palette, as my, oh, Lord Jesus, I cannot speak. It happens all the time. As my makeup collection has grown. I have learned about new brands, so therefore I know there's other palettes with shades like this in it that I like better, but e.l.f. is one of the brands that I just, I don't know. I really do like e.l.f. They're affordable, and I can't part with it. The Prism palette is one that I had. I decluttered it because at one point in life, I did not want an all shimmer palette. I, I was trying to figure out how to word that. I used to wear shimmers with just mattes. And I still do that. I'll throw on a mat and then put a shimmer over it. But you can wear a shimmer by itself. There's nothing wrong with that. I repurchased this. This is a repurchase. Again, you know, I decluttered it. And then I bought it again. Um, I think I bought it again last year. Can't remember when I originally decluttered it. Decluttered it. Okay, we have the Alamar Cosmetics Reina Del Clare Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1. I got this in a boxy charm several years ago. I have yet to declutter this. And the reason I don't declutter it is for the top full of shades. Again, you know, these two shades, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. These two shades are too dark. I think I'm always scared to mess with them because I'm scared that I'm going to just mess up my whole eye look. And for me, I can't take eyeshadow off without messing up my whole makeup. And eyeshadow is one of the things I do. I do eyeshadow last. Well, not technically eyes. It's eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, and then lipstick and lip gloss. And that's my last steps. But I do my face, you know, face, cheek, that kind of stuff first. But I love the first four shades. These um, oranges don't look right on me. That shade wouldn't look right on me. Plus, it's for me, I would be scared that'd be messy. And then Cafecito is really a dark brown. Now, I would use that as an eyeliner. But I keep it because I like it. BH Cosmetics. This is the Hawaii palette. Or hanging in Hawaii. Um, I like it. I don't love it. I had got this. Because there are some palettes I had from them before that I decluttered. Just because it won't shades that I would use. Because I wasn't into colorful shades. Well, there was one that I really purchased last year. And then I went ahead and got this one. It's brown shades. There's some that lean a little bit orange. A couple that lean a little more pink. And then there's a few that are, like, the ones that lean a little bit more orange, I wouldn't use. I wouldn't use that one because that one leans a little bit more reddish. But the true browns, those are the ones I would use. So could I declutter it and not miss it? Probably, but I'm not going to declutter it. Let's do LA Colors. I remember when I bought these. I bought so many of the LA Colors eyeshadow palettes, and I don't really know why. There was one that I repurchased because I really like it, and I can't remember the name of the exact eyeshadow palette, but the the line was called the Day to Night, those palettes from LA um, Colors. And then I bought several of those in that line. And then I bought these and a couple of other ones. No. Yeah. There was another line that I got. Anyway, and I bought a bunch of lipsticks. I did not need all these palettes. I should have just got that one and called it a day. Um, this one is Suntan Kiss.
I mean, I like the pink shades. I like, so I like the first, oh, you can't see that. I like the first six on this side. So I like that half of the palette. And then I like the pink shades down here. But these right here at the bottom, these last four, just aren't my cup of tea. So I can do without this. But again, not going to color it. And then I was involved. Why did I get this purple palette? I don't know. Purples are not my thing. However, um, well, I guess this, I like that. These four over here, I can do without. I really like this shade right here. They don't have shade names, but I really do like that greenish looking shade. I don't know if it pulls green on camera or not, but it's like a greenish blue, but to me it leans more green. All right, the last LA Colors one is the Blue Lagoon. This one leans more, in person, it leans more green than blue. Does it lean more? Let me know in the comments if this one leans more green or blue on camera. But I do like this one. It looks like it's been dug into. Did I just do that? I hope not. Anyway. I'm not a fan of these darker ones at the bottom. And I'm really not a fan of the blue. Or this one right here. You know, that peachy, same color looking shade. Or my, na my nails just dug into blue. I need to stop. Because my nails are digging into the colors. But again, I could have dealt without these through right here. And maybe one day I will declutter them. We'll see. We'll see. Now, hear me out on this last one. I love this brand. I love the eyeshadow. And that's all I can say because from this brand, I've only tried the eyeshadow. Um, and Natasha Denona. I have several of her midi palettes. I have a bunch of her mini. I got this one. It's the Natasha Denona mini tropic palette. I don't like the dark green because this shade of green just isn't for me. Blues aren't for me. And purples technically aren't for me either, but again, it's a lighter shade of purple, so I can do it. This shade. This is the shade that I love from this palette. And this is the shade and the reason I will not declutter this palette. Plus, a five-pin palette, $27, which I think they were $27 when I originally bought it, but I know at one point they were a couple of dollars cheaper. And are they $29 now? Because I think I've spent, I don't remember what I spent on it, but it was 27 I think. I think, don't quote me. So anyway, these are all the palettes that I would, no, these are all the palettes I don't love, but I wouldn't declutter. Um, she did 10, um, and I did 12. I will put her information in the description, and I guess when I go to edit this, I will throw pictures up on the side. But anyway... That is all. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know some of the palettes that you have that you don't love, that you want to clutter. And let me know if you own any of these, if you like them, if you hate them, or if you feel like I do, you don't love them, but you want to clutter. Have a great day.